Welcome back friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. There's one little shower in Highland County. There's one little shower right there in the uh, Pulaski County area, very close to Wythe County. And there's also one little cell perhaps just south of Galax, one little cell south of Withville. Outside of that, it's a clean sweep on the radar. So just a few little itty bitty showers going on. That's it. We're dry at 11 o'clock. Otherwise, we're looking at some patchy fog developing overnight tonight. Otherwise, we're partly cloudy. This is Thursday, 730 in the morning, and it looks like we're starting out the day with a nice mix of sun and clouds. Looks like we're going to be partly to maybe even at times mostly sunny as we head into tomorrow afternoon. But I will tell you this, that there's still the chance for a few showers as we head along and west of the parkway from 2 p.m. through maybe about 8 or 9 p.m. tomorrow. Again, the mountains have the best chance for a few showers, even a stray storm on Thursday. Now on Friday, we'll start out the day dry with some sun, but by Friday afternoon, we will have a better chance for some hit or miss thunder showers with the best chance for rain once again on Friday, likely lying along and west of the parkway initially, and then that chance for rain may move a little bit farther south and east as we head throughout Friday evening. Tropical depression Gordon continues to bring heavy rain into parts of Florida, Alabama and Mississippi with this moving to the northwest at a clip of around about 10 miles per hour. Winds right now of 30 miles per hour. It's going through Arkansas expected to make a little touch here in Oklahoma, then go through Kansas and Missouri and then make a beeline to the northeast towards Chicago and eventually towards Michigan. This could merge with a cold front and bring us some rain here as we head into the weekend, but right now it is 45 miles northwest of Jackson, Mississippi, and most of the heavy rain from this is going to stay away from southwest and central Virginia. For instance, we are looking at portions of Illinois seeing over five inches of rain. St. Louis could see four and a half inches of rain. Indianapolis could see close to four inches of rain. So we're really looking at the Ohio River and Mississippi River valleys seeing the heaviest rain from the remnant moisture from what is Tropical Depression Gordon. We also have Hurricane Florence out there, and we also have another storm system that is soon to be Helene as it moves to the west. The National Hurricane Center gives us a very good chance to become a tropical storm here over the next couple of days. And of course, we have Hurricane Florence with winds of 130 miles per hour. Now a Category 4 hurricane expected to maintain its hurricane status as it gets closer to Bermuda as we head either late this weekend into early next week. From there, it's going to take one of two paths. It's either going to make a turn to the north or continue on its westward path. Track one, the Bermuda High would sweep it out to sea. That's what we're hoping for. But track two could mean it escapes the Bermuda High and goes a little farther south and pushes closer towards the U.S. coastline. We're going to have to watch all those variables here over the course of the next five to six days. Extended forecast. We're in the upper 80s on Friday. 70s for us this weekend as the wedge is going to be around. We're pretty cloudy with some off and on light rain showers. And then we're in the low to mid 80s heading into next week with some scattered thunder showers still around during the heating of the day.